First, we're working breaking news. The case of one of the state's most notorious mob assassinations finally comes to a close. You probably remember these pictures, a dig for human remains behind an East Providence apartment complex last year. Now, 30 years after mob associate Joseph Joey Onion Scanlon was gunned down, the state has identified his body. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke the story when police discovered Scanlon's body. He joins us now live with details from the Breaking News Center. DNA from family members matched the skeletal remains of Joey Onions. His body buried so deep behind the Lisboa apartment complex in East Providence, investigators say one of his killers used a backhoe to hide the crime. After three days of digging November last year, backhoes under the watchful eye of the Rhode Island State Police pull up human remains. Today, the Department of Health confirms it was the body of Joseph Joey Onion Scanlon, the victim of a 1978 gangland slaying in Providence. State officials say they used DNA samples from immediate family members and a femur bone from the exhumed mob associate to make the match. The evidence sent to the University of North Texas for analysis. In a statement, the Department of Health says, we hope that this information will bring closure for the family. State police were given the location of the body by mob associate Nicholas Perry, one of the men who pleaded guilty to Scanlon's murder three decades ago. Perry was scooped up in the state police dragnet Operation mobbed up last year. He died one month after the remains were found. The medical examiner says Scanlon died from a gunshot wound to the head. He was killed because Perry and co-defendant Andy Marola thought he was a police informant. Marola and Perry originally told police they tossed Scanlon in Narragansett Bay. The murder marked the first time in Rhode Island that the prosecutors tried a case without a body. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.